Later this morning, First Nations band Midnight Shine will hit the AM soundstage for a live performance of their new single, Northern Man. The lyrics pay tribute to Adrian Sutherland's culture and his love for his home of Attawapiskat. Adrian joins us now to talk a little bit about that and your musical career. Welcome. Uh, it's good to be here. You've accomplished a lot, but when people hear Attawapiskat, of course, we're thinking of all the headlines. You lived there, and, and, and you had a pretty good life there. Yeah. Tell me about um, growing up and your family and, like, day-to-day -day life for you. Yeah, sure. I mean, well, growing up in Attawapiskat uh, certainly is, is, is different than growing up in uh, a place like Toronto. Yeah, sure. Um, we're a remote flying community in the far north, and that brings uh, uh, many challenges. Uh, you know, I would describe my life as uh, growing up in Attawapiskat very, very simple. You know, uh, we were families. A lot of families were hunter gatherers and are still are today. Um, no, we had no running water uh, growing up. Uh, we we drank uh, water from the rivers, uh, lakes, and in the winter that was uh, done by melting snow and ice. Or they ha they kept a hole in the river open all year. Um, so that that would be sort of sort of a glimpse of what it was like for me young, uh, growing up in Attawapiskat. Um, a lot of time spent on the land, uh, like a lot of other families, uh, were out sometimes months at a time, um, out of the village, and, and some families are still doing that, living the uh, traditional mm -hmm. way. And uh, yeah, no, it's been uh, it was uh, certainly got given me a lot of perspective and 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 taught me not to take little things for granted. It's, it, I mean, it, and it's hard work, and you yeah. still take part in annual family, you know, hunting trips, and the culture is very important to you. You left for a while. You went to school. Yes. You became a paramedic. Yes. You're a musician. Yeah. You're a businessman. Yeah. You wear a lot of different hats. Yeah, I do. I have a very full plate, and uh, yeah, I was, I was a, in the paramedic career for 10 years. I did that and decided to transition to, into business um, about seven years ago. So it was a gradual transition, not, not an easy one. It was yeah. a very uncomfortable uh, transition, but uh, I'm, right now that's my main uh, focus is economic development for Attawapiskat. And I've been driving the music on the side and finding time for it when I can. And I love writing songs. And for me, I think music is uh, a way uh, to express myself and, and to, to share, uh, it gives me a voice, mm -hmm. I think, uh, and as, as an artist, I think that's important. And also an inspiration, too. Yeah. Uh, you've got four kids. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, four and, children, yeah. And an inspiration to the people around there that need inspiration. Yeah, I would yeah. hope uh, they see me as a role model, especially the young, younger, the younger generation, the kids. I think they need more, more role models in the communities to see the, for them to see, not only see it from the distance, but be, to be able to, to to touch it and, and, and experience it because I live in the community and I've, I've been there for pretty much my entire life and uh, I think the kids think think it's uh, neat to see that you know oh mm -hmm. you're the guy that sings in the band and, and they, they find it hard to believe um, and I'm yeah I'm the guy I'm the guy and so it's, I, I find it funny when when the kids ask me <laughs> questions like that well they find it really quite amazing and as I mentioned inspiring and I can't wait to hear you sing thank you very much well thank you